We find ourselves here in the very implausible lava forest, sneaking around, and we've just encountered fire elementals and skeletal knights blocking our path. So, it looks like we're fighting then. Alright, so let's see if we can get Edmund up here in the front at least, so he's the one. You know, it almost feels like we should lure them a little bit over this way. If we can, if we can do that, then we can, uh, we can have Edmund taking the brunt of the, the damage. And also, it's just occurred to me, Edmund has a whole bunch. Where are they? There we go. He's got some superior healing potions, or greater healing potions, I should say. And he's going to distribute them amongst the party. Ruad will change for that. And Gilda... Boy, I wish it would sort better. Wait, where's the one I just gave to Gilda? I just gave one to Gilda, right? Did I not just give one to Gilda? And yet I don't see it. I did not just give one to Gilda. Gilda is too far away. Whoopsie. Alright, fine. It's gonna be... This last, uh, this last gem quest is a slog so far. I'm having some trouble... Uh, finding myself enjoying it. And Gilda, we'll get Gilda up here. Whoops! Uh, somebody was spotted. Okay, the fire elemental rushes up to Edmund. Attacks. Oh no, there's fire spiders too. Okay, Ruad has made a mistake here. Okay, it's auto-saving. So it's frozen up. And it's back. Uh, Ruad made a huge mistake moving this far forward. Yeah, so much. Yeah, I should have. Man, what was I thinking? Why did I have Ruad go up there? I was thinking I should have had Edmund right here and Ruad back here. No, I didn't do that. Of course I didn't do that. I can't move him now. Well, he's... Oh hell, he's not going to cast Fire Shield because we've used up all of our 4th level spells. Okay, in that case, he's going to cast... Protection from Fire... ...on himself. Arun Abio Viribe! Resistance to fire damage. Well, he's on fire, so he's going to use a soothing hand on himself. Oh, God. He's in such a bad position here. Fire spiders. He's in such a terrible position. I'm really tempted to use... I'm going to take the attack of opportunity and move away. I'm doing it. He is hit, but he resists. Oh, he gets two attacks of opportunities. Oof. 
and now he's gonna end his turn. Oh! And he's on fire. Ruad just took a beating in that turn. Okay, Elisa. is in a really bad place here. Elisa can only see one of them. So she's got to shoot at the fire elemental. That's a hit for 27 damage. So luckily we haven't pulled the skeletons yet. Okay, that's actually good. Uh, she's gonna stay there. Oh, nope, I take that back. We pulled the skeletons. Edmund is getting focus fired. Wow, this is super bad. Um, he's gonna switch to his weapons. He's gonna take a step over here. He is going to attack the... Oh god. They both have a ton of hit points. Both of them. He's going to attack the fire spider first. That's 21 points of damage on the first attack. Miss on the second attack. 11 points of bludgeoning on the third attack. He's going to blow his action surge right away. Because I want to do a lot of damage to this spider. 16 more points. Could kill it on this last attack. Yes! The spider's dead. Skeleton is jumping forward. Well, we, do, we did successfully set up a bottleneck here. So Gilda can't... Gilda has no visibility of any of this. It's gonna have to dash to get anywhere near this fight. Okay, she's got visibility now, but she has run out of turn. Skeletal Archer shoots at Edmund but misses. Oh damn, that was a shot at Ruad actually, that hit. Oh no! I didn't realize they could walk on the lava. Oh, we are dead now. We are so dead. So, so dead. Okay, Ruad's got to heal himself. He has no choice. He's got to cast uh, Cure Wounds at third level on himself. Arun Evo Cure. Only 19 points healed. He's got to use a soothing hand on himself for another 9 points. Did I even do a short rest after my last fight? I don't think I did. I may not have. I think I did, but man. Oh, this fire elemental back here is going to absolutely wreck us. Just 100% wreck us. Um, who's up? Elisa is up. Elisa is standing in range. Of the fire elemental. Oh my god, what do I do? This completely wrecked everything. There's literally no way we can survive now. Um, 
I had no, it did not occur to me in the slightest that they could just go boop around the side. <laughs> I thought they were just going to be bottlenecked up here in front of Edmund. Wow, that just ruined me. I mean, I just, uh, what else can I do except attack? Do I have any scrolls or anything I can use? <laughs> I mean, I doubt it. I think I hear a dog barking outside. Yep, I do. It's a little distracting. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. I got literally nothing. I got a potion of frost giant strength. I could drink that, but... You know, then I can't take a turn. What's even the point of that? It'll give us, you know, extra damage on melee attacks. I can't even drink it. I can't. It's. Wait, can I do. I can do like a cunning action. Fast hands, which means then I can use a potion of frost giant strength? No, it does not. <laughs> I can't do anything. Can't do anything at all. I could wait, wait, wait. Here's what I can do. I can, I can give. A healing potion, a greater healing potion to Ruad. There we go. 16 points healed to Ruad. That's. Alright, that was a good thing. I don't think Ruad can actually touch Edmund to heal him either. I think Edmund is just screwed right now. Uh, Alright, attack the fire elemental. What else can I do? Hey, it counted as a sneak attack, even though they're they're resistant to piercing damage, so it was like 14 damage. Big whoop. Skeletal Archer hits Edmund. Critical hit, of course. Why wouldn't it be a critical hit in this situation? It feels like I might as well just reload now and just save myself some time, because I just... I literally do not see myself surviving this. Edmund is up. Um, he's going to do a bonus action second wind. He's going to step over behind the skeletal knight, so maybe he'll get... Oh, what the hell ever. First of all, how was that an opportunity attack since I was not moving away. I was just moving around. Second of all, how is everybody rolling so much better than me? Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the skeletal knight. No, I'm gonna hit the, no, I'm out of the fire elementals range. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Since I'm here, I might as well attack the skeletal knight. Uh, the damage doesn't even matter because we're gonna die. So, of course, cr of course, it's a critical hit on Edmund. Naturally, of course, there's. Why wouldn't it be a critical hit? Um, Gilda has literally nothing except fire spells. So um, she's gonna cast a fourth level blight on the fire elemental. Of course, they will make their save. Oh, they failed. Wow, amazing. 39 necrotic damage. It's like barely half dead. Archer's firing at Edmund. Oh, that firing at Ruad, actually. Misses, miraculously. Fire Elemental misses Elisa. Twice. Well, the second one hits, but she's going to do an uncanny dodge and only get five fire damage. Fire Elemental swings at Edmund, cornering him 
ensuring that he will definitely positively die now. Ruad is going to cast... What is the... Wow, Ruad is basically out of spells. Um... Guiding Bolt or Inflict Wounds? Second level Inflict Wounds on the Fire Elemental. Necro Malvis. Misses, of course. Bonus action Soothing Hand on himself. That's the last one he has. I Again, I, I know this is a TPK. I might as well reload now, because <laughs> there's no way this is not a TPK at this moment. Elisa attacks the fire elemental. Sneak attack. Only 15 damage. This is the turn that Edmund goes down. Oh no, actually it was Yes, that was that's Edmund. Edmund's down. And he's on fire. So of course he's he's gonna be dead dead. We can revivify him, but... Um... Yeah. This is... This is... This is a just... This is a hopeless endeavor at this point. Um... Man, those spiders that we fought before just absolutely wrecked me. Because I used all my powerful spells on the spiders just because I was so bored with the combat taking so long that I used all my big spells just to make it go faster. And now Gilda literally has no other spells that she can cast. Ray of Enfeeblement, let's try that. Arcana Necro Malmis. Failed its save, so it's weakened. Okay, that's good news. Archers firing at Ruad, miss. Hits, but he maintains concentration on whatever he's concentrating on. Fire Elemental's moving around to attack Gilda now. Okay, now Gilda's gonna die. Uh, Ruad. What do we do here? What do we do? This feels like a situation where we need to cast... I got rid of Bane, didn't I? This would be a great situation for Bane, but I feel like I'm gonna cast Bless. Because we need all the, uh... We need all the advantages we can get. Mm, what am I concentrating on? Protection from fire. Oh, hell. It's concentration. I gotta... Alright, let's do Guiding Bolt. With disadvantage, for some reason, range attack with a nearby enemy. That's a, okay. So in that case, we'll do a, an Inflict Wounds. Another Inflict Wounds at second level on the Fire Elemental. Hits for 22 damage, amazingly. Elisa's on fire, takes damage. Um, she has literally nothing except a Rapier attack. Sneak attack. One Fire Elemental is down. Um... She can do a, a fast action. She's gonna drink a potion of greater healing. I'm still trying to win this fight, even though I know I'm not gonna win this fight. Archer fires at Ruad, hits. 
misses the second attack. Somehow they get two attacks per round. Skeletal Knight is just standing there next to Edmund. Woo, fired a ray of frost at Ruad, but missed, luckily. Okay, Gilda is up, standing right next to a fire elemental, and she has literally no spells she can cast. Um, you know, she could cast Fly and try to run away. That's, <laughs> that's literally all she can do. She's going to cast Fly on herself and run the hell away. Like, literally anywhere would be an improvement. How do we... How do we fly up and down? I've completely forgot. What's the key? There's a key for that, isn't there? Going up and down? Move up. Is there a key for going up and down? How do you go up and down? Fly, uh, that was that was a waste. I completely wasted a spell. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I can go I can go like yeah, I can go like up here. Gonna take attack of opportunity, but luckily missed. And Gilda gets out of range. Can she move any further? No. That's as far as she can go. Archer's firing at Ruad. Missed both times. Round five. At least a takes a critical hit. She's definitely going to do an uncanny dodge. Only takes seven damage. Second attack misses. Oh! Ruad still on fire, but has flawless concentration. He is going to jump down here. Okay, what's the order? So it's Ruad, then the skeletal marksman. So Rud's got to jump down here. He's got to cast a big heal. Of course, he doesn't have a big heal. He has nothing but regular heals. On Edmund. Aron Evo Cure. Okay, Edmund is up. And where's my bonus action? I'm out of my bonus action. Okay, wow. Great. Fantastic. Ah! Elisa's burning. Um, Elisa's going to do a cunning action disengage. And get herself all the way over here next to the Skeleton Knight. Ha! Still on fire. And attack the Skeleton Knight from the side. Ah! That's a sneak attack for 18 points of damage. It's not dead yet. Archer fires at Elisa. Luckily, Elisa will have the damage. Still takes six points. Oh, and another eight points. Edmund is still on fire. So he's got to take his turn to extinguish that fire. Or else he will die on his next turn. Uh, and he's got to use his bonus action to hit the Skeletal Knight and hope for the best. It's a hit because they're vulnerable to bludgeoning. That's 18 points of bludgeoning. Okay. So Edmund is probably still going to die immediately. Uh, next up is Gilda, who is flying. So she can come all the way over here. 
away from the fire elemental. She's back on the ground. Uh, okay, so... Actually, can I go up? I can't go directly upwards, unfortunately. I've used all my movement. Okay, never mind. Or have I? I think I have. I don't understand what the interface is telling me. Uh, okay, so she can do... She's going to cast a level 3 fireball at this skeletal marksman over here. And hope to God he fails his save. Arcana Evo Malmis. Of course he succeeded on his save and he only took 10 fire damage. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. I forgot. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Fine. Whatever. It's fine. Archer fires a Gilda. She's gonna do a shield. So it misses. Another Archer attack at Gilda misses. The Fire Elemental is up. Swings at Ruad. Hits him. Of course both of them hit. Of course. He's... He's not dead, but he should be dead. I, I'm spending every one of my actions doing a heal action. I can't do any damage. <laughs> There's, I can't do anything except heal actions. Uh, so I've got to... I can do a bonus action healing word on Edmund for what it's worth. Arun Evo Curee. And for my main action, I can use a greater healing potion. That's still not going to get me through another turn, but... And I'm going to switch to uh, shield. Ah! Elise is on fire. She's going to do an archery attack on the fire elemental because she should be able to get sneak attack damage. Misses! What a bad time to miss. That could have been the difference in the battle right there. That could have been a battle-turning miss. Man, that fire elemental still got a lot of hit points left. Um, she is going to uh, move somewhere. Is there any... Can I move anywhere to get cover? That is a big old nope on that. Unless I can go there. I'm going to sprint for it. See if I can use my cunning action dash to get here for cover. And she's still on fire, by the way. Uh, and even though she is in cover, she still is hit by a skeletal marksman, but she'll have that damage. Still takes seven points of damage. Second one misses, though. Oh, and the archer just jumps down and runs away. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, Edmund. Um, Edmund's got to run up and hit this fire elemental. The, this, is a, this is a best defense is a good offense situation, I think. First attack. Oh, man, I wish he was hasted. First attack hits for 14... Second attack hits for 18. Bonus action, third attack. Misses! Ugh, soul crushing. And now he's in the line of fire and he's gonna die this turn. He's gonna die before his next turn, so that was the best we could do on damage against the fire elemental. Uh, Gilda is no longer shielded. Gilda can't do anything against this fire elemental. All she can do... 
Ruad and and Edmund are on their own with this fire elemental. Um, so one of two things is going to happen here. The fire elemental is going to attack Ruad, probably kill him. The fire elemental is going to attack Edmund, definitely kill him. So whoever's left standing is going to have to finish off that fire elemental. Which is, you know, more likely if Edmund's the one that remains standing. So I hope the fire elemental attacks the cleric Ruad, okay. Uh, Gilda's just gonna fly all the way over here and cast a flaming sphere. Nope. Yes, because I don't need to fly anymore. Flaming sphere. Arcana evil. On the skeletal thing, she's going to use that to attack the one up above. Fails at save, only takes six damage. Oh my god. The archer hits Gilda. She's got to use her last shield. We are burning literally everything on this. Oh, good. Oh, so... So what actually happened was the Fire Elemental hit Edmund, killed him, then swung at Ruad. Which is the worst case scenario. Uh, <laughs> Edmund's dying. Also on fire. Oh, wow. Herald of the Sun causes blindness. Doesn't do very much damage, though. I'm looking for my damage. I got nothing. I got... I got... I got inflict wounds, and that's it. And that's... I've only got a first level inflict wounds, so I think I'm gonna have to... I'm going to use this Herald of the Sun for the first time on this Fire Elemental. Failed their saving throw, so they took 24 Radiant Damage and they are blinded. Okay. There's a fraction of a percent of a chance we might win this fight. Elisa is hurt bad. Um, she has no more potions. She's gonna... She's gonna ex... Oh god, I hate to not do damage in a round. It's so annoying that you have to choose between doing damage or protecting yourself. <laughs> and it's like... Uh, if you choose to protect yourself, it prolongs the fight which ultimately increases the amount of damage that you take. So it's it's worthless. But I've got to I've got to put out this fire. I've got to put out this uh, fire and waste my turn. I mean, I I have no choice. That's it. Archer fires at Elisa but misses. Second attack hits, but she's going to have the damage with Uncanny Dodge. Still takes six points. Edmund has failed two death saving throws now. Gilda, where is... Gilda must have lost concentration on her flaming spear. Okay, fine. Good, good job. Awesome. Firebolts it is, then. Arcana Evo Malmis. Woohoo! Four damage! I did four damage to the skeleton. We're gonna win this fight, you guys. I did four damage. Uh, 
the meanwhile, the skeleton archer critically misses and regularly misses. Fire elemental misses Ruad. Oh! Hits him. He's still alive, but just barely. Oh my god. Uh, he maintains concentration. Oh god, it's a battle to the death. Can I use this power a second time? Herald of the Sun. Oh god, is there a chance that I can do as much damage as I did last time? Any chance? Yes! The Herald fails his save and takes 26 radiant damage. Yes! Ruad has survived. Well, he's going to die in the next turn because he's on fire. <laughs> he's going to cast a healing word on himself. Oh no, I should have done that on Edmund. Oh well, I mean, I can revivify him. It's no big deal. Death is meaningless in this game. Okay, um... Elisa is up. These two skeletal marksmen are basically still at full because we can't really do any damage to them. So Elisa's gonna fire a short bow. That's a hit for 14 damage. Pretty good damage considering they should be uh, resistant to piercing damage. Elisa has nowhere to hide, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The only thing she could potentially do is jump up here behind Gilda and hide behind her. <laughs> so that's what she's gonna do. Archer fires at Gilda, misses. Second attack at Gilda hits. Oh, that's a critical hit for 14 damage. That was a big hit. Gilda's at half health now. Gilda's our strongest character right now. The wizard is our most strongest character. And Edmund has failed his last death save, so he is now uh, dead. So we got to revivify him, which is what uh, Ruad's going to do on his next turn. Assuming he's got one of those scrolls. I'm pretty sure he's got a scroll. Can I put a scroll in my hands? I don't think I can, actually. That stinks. So... I mean, Firebolt is the only thing that Gilda can do, so... A critical miss, but still eight points of fire damage. She's missed two turns in a row, but still has done tiny, teeny little bits of damage. And there's no place she can go now. The archer fires at Gilda. Twice misses both times. Ruad is still on fire. Um... For another nine rounds. Okay, here's the thing. So we definitely can't cast Revivify because we have no spell slots. But we do... Well, we've even got a Raised Dead scroll, so... I do have a scroll of Revivify. I can put it in my slot. I can cast it... On Edmund. Aron. And by the way, Edmund is still on fire. Oh, no, he's not on fire anymore. Oh, thank God. They cleared the fires <laughs> on fire status. Okay, Edmund's back up. All it's going to take is one arrow to knock him back down again. Uh, Elisa will fire at this skeletal marksman across the way. That is another 13 points of damage. They've been having an epic duel between Elisa and Gilda and this marksman across the way. What is the other skeletal marksman going to do? Shoot at Gilda. 
Um, she's gonna use her very last spell slot for a shield. Second attack hits anyway for seven points. Okay, Edmund is awake. He's gonna have to use a... He's gonna have to chug a healing potion as his action. And... Run. Run into danger. And that's all he can do. Gilda's lost her shield. Gilda fires a firebolt at the marksman across the way. Finally, an actual hit for 12 points of damage, and that skeleton archer is dead. There's only one skeletal marksman remaining, and we will win this battle. Four against one now. Ruad, still on fire, is going to extinguish his fire and move up next behind Edmund and switch to his shield. Elisa will now attack the skeletal marksman. That's a hit for 11 points. The marksman fires back, misses, misses again. Whew, that was a bit of luck. Oh, he's jumping far, far away. Uh, okay, I need Edmund to get up right in his face. And how do I do that? I do that with a dash. Like so. You'll never escape from me! And now a bonus action bludgeoning attack. That was a critical hit for 30 points of damage! I'm so mad I've been dead! I'm taking it out on you. Gilda casts a firebolt on the marksman. That is a hit for 16 fire damage. It's not quite dead. It's on death's door. Ruad is going to run up and switch to crossbow. And uh, cast a crossbow attack. Seven piercing. The skeleton is dead. We have actually survived this encounter. I can't believe we actually survived this. Wow, that went so bad at the start, but somehow we actually survived that. Oh my god. Jade Pendant and a plus one bolt. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, Edmund's gonna jump up here and... Oh, where are you going, Edmund? What are you doing? Why are you going that way? Okay. I was afraid he was gonna pull some new monsters. Whew, can you guys believe we're still alive? I can't believe it. That was close. Silver brooch. That was so close. Uh, short rest, everybody. Short rest. In fact, actually, I would really like to do a, a long rest at this point. There's no way we could survive any other encounters at this point. Using up basically all of our hit dice. Which was already mostly used up anyway. Gilda doesn't have any arcane recovery? 
Oh, she already used that once today. Oh, wow, we leveled up. We actually leveled up. Okay, we've got to find a place to long rest now. We literally have to. I mean... I don't see any place on this map to do a long rest. Which tells me that we need to uh, go back to the overland map. So, yeah, we're uh, going back to the forest. We are leaving temporarily. And we're going to see if we can figure out how to do a... Can we do a long rest? On the overland map? Let's try to travel to the Cradle of Fire. And pray we don't run into any um, encounters. Let's do a slow pace. Traveling. Unrolling bedrolls. The party starts to rest. Finished a long rest. Yes, and now we get to level up. Do 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 do. Edmund is now a level 10 fighter. And well deserved after that ordeal with two fire elementals. Dying. Uh, was it once or twice? I can't remember. One, well, once he was unconscious, and once he was actually dead. And, uh, he gets to choose a new fighting style option. Um, oh, how about archery? Wait, no. Well, dueling is when you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapons. Useless to me. Great weapon fighting, useless to me. Protection. That's a shield skill. That's useless. While you are wearing armor, you gain a bonus to AC. Where's the dual-wielding fighting style? Why isn't dual-wielding rewarded? It's rewarding sword and shield with protection. It's rewarding two-handed. With great weapon. You must... Must be two-handed or so okay if I'm reading this right this great weapon fighting works whether you're using the weapon one-handed or two-handed the weapon must have the two-handed or versatile property so any weapon that you can use one-handed or two-handed Sounds like it would benefit from great weapon fighting. And if that's the case, then that would be the one for me. But I do like the archery because I do occasionally switch to crossbow. When you make him... Melee weapon that you... Oh, it says that you are wielding with two hands. Okay, yeah, so it's like I said before. Every fighting style is rewarded except dual wielding. Two-handed is rewarded. Sword and shield is rewarded. Uh, One-handed. One weapon is rewarded. And no other... Okay, I guess I gotta get archery. I mean, that's annoying. That is very annoying. That's an annoying thing. That would annoy me if I was playing at a tabletop game. Built my whole character around dual wielding and I don't get rewarded for it. Anyway, Ruad is now a level 10 cleric. Has an additional 5th level spell slot. 
and an additional cantrip to select has a new class feature of Divine Intervention, uh, which has a success chance of 1% per level, so that would be 10% for me. Which is actually a pretty high percentage chance, statistically speaking. Um, an additional cantrip that I can choose is... And Shine is an enemy you can see becomes luminous. Sacred Flame strikes an enemy with radiant damage. Yeah, that seems like the, the one I should get. And Elisa is now a level 10 rogue. Uh, gets a new ability score choice. Choose between increasing your ability scores or gaining a bonus feat. How can I make that choice when I have literally no idea what the choices are going to be? What are the feats that I can get? What feats are available? Do I have to get out a player's handbook to see what the feats are? What if I don't have one handy? Um, I'm going to choose a feat, I guess, because that... I feel like my stats are pretty good already. For a rogue, I got a dex of 20. Kind of hard to beat that. Okay, what do we got? Oh, I heard ambidextrous is good. Plus one to dex. Well, that would give me a plus one to dexterity. That's just the same. To a maximum of a 20. Okay, you can fight using two weapons. Even if the one-handed melee weapons aren't light. Okay, that's what... That's not going to help me any. Okay, so the warnings mean I can't use those. Badlands Marauder. You gain resistance to poison damage. I think I already have that. I have a ring anyway. Uh, it's going to take me a while to read through these. I'm going to pause. Okay, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of ones that increase constitution, and I see some that I might want for another character, but for Elisa, I'm going to do Take Aim, which lets me use a bonus action to take aim. Until the end of your turn, your ranged weapon attacks have no disadvantage or advantage, no matter the conditions. So basically, that would cancel out disadvantage. So I'm going to do that one Oh wow, and I have uncanny accuracy to ignore half and three, co three quarters cover. That's cool. Last but not least, Gilda. Level 10 wizard. After the trials and tribulations of the fire elementals. Whoops, what did she get? Uh, another fifth level slot, three more cantrips, and three spells to select. She also gets Arcane Lore to add proficiency bonus to the number of spells you can memorize. Oh, nice. You also learn two additional cantrips from the wizard's list. That, that's a big increase. Does that mean I can get... Wow, I think I'm going to, like, radically increase the number of spells I can use. So going from 9 to 10 is a huge boost for a wizard. I was kind of hoping at some point I would get another attack as a fighter, too. I was kind of hoping I would get another attack at level 10. So I feel like when you went from 4 to 5, you got, like, a huge boost to your character. Your character's survivability. I feel like from 1 to 4, this game was really hard. But starting at level 5 and beyond, it got a lot easier. <laughs> um... All right, so I got to pick a whole bunch. Ugh, got to pick a bunch of spells. All right, I'm going to get Ray of Frost as a new cantrip and Shadow Dagger as a new cantrip because these will give us uh, a, a frost damage cantrip and uh, like a psychic damage cantrip. And I think for my third one, I'm going to pick True Strike 
which basically gives us advantage on our first attack on any enemy. Sounds cool. Now I got three spells to pick. I'm gonna pick up some level five spells. I'm gonna get Dominate Person, and I'm gonna get Cone of Cold. One crowd control, one damage, and I'm gonna pick up this Vampiric Touch, which will let us drain life and get some health back, and also does decent damage, but it's a touch spell, so not sure how useful that'll be. But we'll see. Okay, let's prepare our spells. Let's get rid of Charm Person. We're not going to do that anymore. Let's get Vampiric Touch. Whoops. Oh, wow. I have 18 spells I can do. Okay, cool, cool. Um... Yeah, I got I got more spells suddenly. That's super cool. You know, flaming spear is not flaming sphere. I keep saying flaming spear. Flaming sphere can be useful, but it's not as good as I would have liked. Um Hey, fly basically saved Gilda's life in that last fight. So I'm definitely keeping that. Uh, Ice Storm or... Confusion. Why didn't I use that? Let's get Dominate Person, I guess. Let's, you know, whatever. It's good enough. It's fine. It's all fine. Ruad, what spells does Ruad want? Do we want to change anything? We haven't really used... Death Ward is kind of useless when you can just raise people <laughs> right after they're dead. Um, contagion... Insect Plague is a sphere... Do, 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 Guardian of Faith? Yeah, good enough. Good enough. Alright, everybody's level 10. And the party has finished their journey. You've got to be kidding me. You've literally got to be kidding me. The party has stumbled upon another battle. Yet another battle. I was just about to stop the journey and go back to the lava forest and resume. But no, we have another combat encounter to get through. How lovely.